We know there are many choices in internet radio, and the staff and host of LA Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is LA Talk Live. We are more than just talk. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and welcome to the Four Corners of the Globe. Tonight, another episode of Speak On It. Speak On It. Say it, own it, believe it. The realest show on radio, you know what it is. We're live and in living color from the studios of LA Talk Live, just outside of LAX, in beautiful, sunny Los Angeles, California. I woke up today and I swore I felt like I was on vacation. It is absolutely spectacular out here. When it comes to the weather, and I had a really great day. Well, I'm about to switch the cameras on. As you can see, quite a busy panel tonight. There's much to discuss. Lots in the news. We're back at war. They're shooting black people en masse all throughout the country. One brother survived to tell it, and I swear if there's anybody that's going to make a change in what's happening in the streets to black men, this brother might be the one to do it because he survived. We'll talk about that a little later on. Um, the NFL, oh my God, Roger Goodell, will you have the courage to step down? Um, so much to talk about, so much to say. Without further ado, I'll bring the music down a tad a bit. And, um, but I'm going to enjoy that in the background. The sounds of Eddie Harris, Les McCann, one of my favorite cuts compared to what? All right, to my immediate right, we've got the fastest man in radio himself, hey. a brother I call Lemon for short. Eddie Lamont joins us on our panel tonight. Hey. I, like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Like it. Hey. Yes. To his immediate right, we have one of the hardest working women in broadcasting, the inimitable real time Alexis Flagon. Make a righteous noise, everybody. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yes, yay. Hey. <laughs> I got to peg him as the most talented man. Mm. In internet broadcasting, a man of many talents, singer, dancer, mm. writer, producer, major, major, actor, stripper, <laughs> so many jobs. It seems like he's Jamaican. <laughs> the one and only, the wolf himself, E. Cole. Oh. Oh. Alice. Oh, well, yeah, he, yeah, add that to the list as well. Bravo. Clothing designer, barber, uh, everything you want and need in one man, no doubt. And, of course, got it. the best man <laughs> in internet broadcasting and the best partner a guy like me could have. Put your hands together for Van Eric Marshall. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yes, yeah. Thank you, thank you very much. American veteran, veteran of the U.S. Army, um, host and producer of his own music show, the Van Eric Rock Show, a perennial favorite of the Talk Live Broadcast Network, um, and also host and producer of an all-new show. Been on several months now. We'll talk more about it later tonight. Woman Magnet. My new favorite show, <laughs> Veterans Day Live. I don't know yeah, what that kind of I don't know no, what that you saw, You're speaking about Van, Van Eric, you know what I'm saying? He's a woman magnet. Oh, well, that too, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's got his hairline. Yep. <laughs> Still got it. Still got it. Still got it. Still got it. I right. speak it, I own it. He got it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> We're going to be an open forum tonight, so I figure we'll just open up the phone lines yeah. right from the gate. Yeah, let's make The number's happen. on the screen. Give us a call. Eddie. Yes. Give him the digits. Oh, oh, oh. 323. 473. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3
473-3100. Cheer! We're going to have to make a song and they or talk uh, live. something out of that. Yeah. 3 473 Yeah, just layer that a little bit. That could work. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> so I want to give you all a, a rousing round of applause before we get tonight's discussion started. Uh, this is going to be a most momentous night as well. We've got a great announcement coming up in the... Uh, final 30 minutes of the show wow um but again from the door the numbers on the screen will recite it to you again i'll do it myself yeah three two three four seven three thirty one hundred i'll say it again for those of you slow with the pen three two three four seven three three one zero zero um speak on it say it own it believe it it's a motto it's a philosophy if you say it here you got to stand by it you got to have facts behind it right Uh, this is the most factual show in internet broadcast as well uh again as i Started off the show tonight talking about um, so much to talk about in the news, but uh, we have the rare uh, pleasure of having uh, Miss Alexis Claygon join us on our panel tonight. And I'd like to defer to the ladies first. Mm. Um, Ooh, sing it, sing it, sing it. Uh, see, we're very musical here. As you can probably tell we're more than just talk. <laughs> ladies first, ladies first. <laughs> Get it, get it. Oh. Bing, bing. Oh, gee. all right, it's over. My bad. Okay, I ran a little long there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alexis, what's up, mama? How you doing there? Oh, I'm doing good. How your mom and them? Mom's good. She's busy as always. Aunt's good, too. She's, what's uh, she doing now? My aunt or my mom? Which one? Well, let's start with your mom. Okay, mom is... Mom just had a Harlem Globetrotter. Wow. Um be a motivational speaker at her school um, amazing it was pre- it was pretty good um he talked about bullying mm. um so she's got her hands full with all of that mm. uh in the school year kind of just kicking off um auntie paula is doing her thing with her physical therapy she's giving massages to everybody <laughs> <Make> <laughs> fixing my back <laughs> Man, well, I need her. Yeah, her, her cards are here. You better go call her. Feature her one night here in the studio. Have a bring yeah. a portable uh, table. Yeah, I'll be her. I'll oh, be she her always subject. carries I'll it. I'll be her Word. subject. <laughs> I'll be her subject all <laughs> night. And uh, if Get I missed it, what have you been up to? Oh. Huh. I don't want to take up the show. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long She's, she's minty jobs, too. She's minty jobs, <laughs> right too. Yeah. Um, I'm just got well I'm PE teacher at the school now um I'm still coaching up there I um she made me athletic director uh student council moderator that's just the school um I work here (laughs) at the radio station with the shock factor at LA talk live excellent job you're doing with that as well thank you (laughs) you've got a, a crack cadre of interns working hard. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes. Uh, to She's make cracking that whip. Easy. <laughs> At least six of them. She's cracking I need them to whip. do a lot of stuff. Um, what else am I doing? Oh, uh, I started recently putting on uh, a bunch of different events. Um, anything from weddings to grand openings to artist debuts to anything. Um, I, I want, what I want to do is just get like a. I'm huge on networking. I love it when people connect. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I kind of want to put something like that on uh, where there's vendors and tons of people and just tons of fun. And uh, that's kind of what I want to take that direction in. And um, uh, Events I work at planning now <laughs> added to your added to the Jamaican. <laughs> Jamaican. Yeah, you're too busy. You're too busy <laughs> to be so <laughs> young. But hard work, you know, makes for easy living. Later on down the line, like you'll have it going on. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. I have to be you gotta busy. You got it going on now. You got it going on now. Baby. Yeah. I got to oh, stay you gotta busy. Go now. Live yeah. in the moment that, that is here right now. Appreciate what you're doing, that you have that to do, that it is positive, mm. that it will lead to greater and greater rewards financially and otherwise. So you got to appreciate where you're at, you know. Mm-hmm. That I alone know. is a, is a gift. That's a milestone, especially for, for her generation, for her to be, you know, in the era she is in right now. You know, she could be thinking and doing so much other stuff that ain't m- amount to nothing. To nothing. You yeah. see, Alexis, you think Kathy Hughes, 10, 20 years from now, right. with that much experience in this incredibly fast-paced, ever-evolving industry called digital broadcasting mm. I predict that in 
10 to 20 years within the 15 years uh my son uh won't even know what a dvr box is or right. what a cable box <laughs> is <laughs> no in 20 years if, if time Ooh, warner wow. won't even be cable anymore it'll all be digital based we sit at the very shoot. crest mm-hmm. of change mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. we've been in this Five years now, going mm. strong, round, rousing round of applause. Yes, indeed. To the yes, studio, indeed. to the station, to the network. And we continue to stay on the cutting edge. Mm-hmm. You know, I scour the web and look for other bro- fellow broadcasters out there doing their own thing. Other entrepreneurs wanting to be a part of this incredibly, this incredibly changing. No doubt. You know, fast pace, all that stuff I said earlier. Industry. Mm-hmm. And I, I applaud them all. Mm-hmm. But... I think we are doing some things that others are not that certainly put us at the very uh, top of the heap when it comes to our level of production Mm -hmm. and our quality of guests and information that gets disseminated. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And we're getting more and more involved in the community. Um, We have a new play who has come on board to advertise their play coming up in a couple of weeks. We'll be running the trailer for that tonight. I want to thank the director, Miss Rose Marie, uh, for joining our network and being a part of our sponsorship family. Exactly. We're reaching into the community deeper and deeper. We also have a play called Menage uh, that our good friend and executive producer of his own show, The Wolf's Den, mm-hmm. first Fridays, mm-hmm. 10, a, uh, 10 p.m., first Fridays coming up next Friday. He's in a play. I want to swing now to you and have you tell us a little bit about the play that you're in. Uh, This play, this particular piece, actually I've been in two plays in the last week. I did a play, a piece called uh, The Grand Opening of the Club where I played the character role of Ike Turner. And, uh, you know, dated back in the 70s. And then the the play that you spoke of, Minaj, is really, it's not so much of a play, it's more of uh, e-book excerpts that we're reading. Out of an e-book, I should say. Excerpts. Mm. And we just delivering you know the lyrics that were written from poetry to dialogue and we just sit and stand and we just it's a neurotic it's very erotic you know provocative sexy and it's something that it's a role that that's really out, outside of something that I normally would do as an as an actor but I took it you know I took the role because it, it has some kind of like, like it has homosexuality acts involved in the uh, piece but they're not acted out because but it's, it's not, not acted out because it's just not a play spoken it's word a spoken play. word exactly There's something to that effect in a unique ho- genre I, I yeah. enjoyed it yeah and it, but it was pretty cool it was, you know, some, it was something different you know you got a, it got a, 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 a deep response you know mm-hmm. but uh, provocative very provocative you know yeah a lot of ladies come up to me you know afterwards and you know give you props or whatever so it felt good you know some brothers shook our hands like yeah you know I did a good job mind you I don't straddle that fence no so. we understand that and that, <laughs> that's very uh, impressive and compelling in and of itself exactly uh, that you are in fact a straight man mm-hmm. um, and took on the challenge of playing this character mm-hmm. again it's not a play so it's not acted out exactly. it's all spoken word and I found it you know, I, I, you know, I dare say because I don't want to sound like a film critic or corny, mm-hmm. refreshing. Because mm-hmm. you know, plays are plays. You know, you see a lot of plays. I I was watching the trailer for uh, the play Undertow. Again, big ups to the director and producer, mm-hmm. uh, Sister Rose Marie, for that. We'll be playing that throughout the night, and you'll be seeing it every time you come to our website from this point on for the next two weeks. Uh, another provocative, powerful play. It almost. Uh, brought tears to my eyes right. to see one of the clips from that play that was filmed and put up on Facebook. Mm. I was, wow, that was heavy. But the way that you guys are conducting this particular play, I thought was very unique because, again, not acting out the acts, but the sitting there and dialoguing right. amongst yourselves and yet engaging the, engaging the, the this, audience. It was deep. It was really mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. Refreshing. So, you know, like I said, something different <laughs> outside of what so I want right. to do. But, yeah. you know, I challenge myself. Talk to my homeboys. Talk to my big brother. Challenge. You know, just to hear their opinions. You know, how, how they felt about it, you know. Then ultimately, it was, um, it was my decision to be made. Plus, I had already committed myself to the project without even reading the whole thing, which is cardinal wow. rule number one that you don't do, ah. you know. But I took it upon myself. <laughs> and I know this the, the, the person that booked me and blah, yeah. blah, blah. And then just, you know. But I still, I'm there. I, you know, I did it, you know. All right. So uh, that's what, you know, and it's it's running again next week, and then October 9th is the closing night. Is it that much different than shooting a video? 
What as far like as Like rem- remembering lines or Well no see The whole thing We're reading We're reading out the mm. book You know we're reading the story oh, So oh, we're turning oh, right, pages right. Turning pages and reading You know yeah. but, but, we, but But a lot of times We kind of memorize What's in the yeah, page You know yeah, yeah. But then we go back to it Because we still have to give them The, the uh, essence of we're reading Yeah So Got it Because if once we memorize it Like that Then it becomes acting Right and, right right and, right, right 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 It's a lot more spontaneous You yes. gotta check out the clip uh, I've got it next door uh, I think we're going to play a little bit. No, that's going to be your video we're going to be playing later, but maybe we'll play the clip too. Mm. We'll see. I want to uh, swing back real quick to Alexis because, you know, right after this show, we've got the Shock Factor every Friday, 8 p.m. So what's yeah. coming up on the Shock Factor tonight? Uh, okay. That wild and crazy place. <laughs> I can tell you all our guests right now. Um, it's a nice lineup. Yeah, we've got a, a long night in store for you guys. Um mm. This it's pretty much an artist corner, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this would have been perfect for the first Friday. Um, we've got an artist, so got female artist. Uh, no, just one actually. One, All right, cool. one. Um, Jessica Zenzen is coming back, oh, I love and her. she's doing our uh, our performance towards the end of the show. Sweet. She's kind of gonna close us out. Um, we've got a young lady who goes by Cash is. Hmm. Um, born name amber yates um Hmm. she's a rapper um i listened to some of her music it was actually pretty good uh you know some people would just be like "Mm, subject matter i think you should do something else subject matter i'm sorry say that one more time subject matter subject matter what's she speaking about uh, don't have to give that details. Yeah, just stay tuned. <laughs> right. Just stay tuned. Like, I just want the taste of the lineup. You don't have to go on anymore. <laughs> Quick names. Wop, wop, wop. Give it to me. Punch, punch, punch. Right. Uh, then we have a band. I want them to come back. Oh, they're um, it's gonna be busy in here tonight. Right. Uh, they're Afro Caribbean, so it'll be kind of interesting mm. uh, oh, to hear them. Uh, yeah, Kukani. Kukani. Um, and then you've got an uh, artist named Kiki. Mm. Uh, she's a singer. She was in here for my birthday slash networking event and she sang kind of after the show okay um you'll get a little taste of her and another young lady who goes by china and uh she she's an r&b artist um i don't want to give too much information about that but she's an r&b artist um oh and one more and name's rennie oh yeah and he is a rapper as well Mm. so that's a nice little lineup for you (laughs) That's going to be pretty busy. Yeah, we're going to have a full show next week, too, boy. All right. So, you know, we got the Wolf's Den. That's every Friday. Friday. uh, First Friday, rather. First Friday of every month. We'll come back to that because we got Van Eric uh, uh, back at the table, and I wanted to spend some time talking with Van because I want to find out what he's got going on lately here with, uh, you know, again, one of my favorite new shows, Veterans Day Live. It's every Sunday at 2 p.m. in its new time slot where the show is by, for, and about veterans it's a america's voice for veterans because again i scour the web try to find what else other people are doing in this industry and i don't know of any other 90 minute show where real veterans have access to the global airwaves that we have Mm -hmm. so van i wanted to find out what's coming up for you uh, this uh weekend Sunday, 2 p.m. Veterans Day Live. Well, um, my uh, um, co-host or host, um, Big Dre, he has some things coming in, a couple of people coming in. I have um, Melody's Bar just opened up uh, a pizza shop. So I got Ron coming in. Melody's Pizza LAX. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? And um, they coming in. I'm going to have Ron bring in a couple of pies and stuff, you know, and um, get one of them strombolis. Uh, to come on through to They don't feet. know nothing about no Stromboli yeah, no, 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 they don't know no, no. That's why I'm going to You know Give them a, a taste Of the East Coast type thing <laughs> But also before I go in I just want to um, Give big ups to uh, Alexis Because What keeps LA Talk Live Refreshing and young Is because we have people like her mm-hmm. that, that, you know, we need um, that future. because we, we old heads. Rich and I are old heads. So, you <laughs> know what I mean? Man. To keep us. Thanks. That's cool. Yeah, I love yeah, yeah, old yeah. Heads. We're yeah. the younger old heads. Yeah, I mean, so <laughs> we have to keep ourselves <laughs> in, 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 in the front. You look, know how much game, look how much game she's she going to learn, though. You yeah, know, she's going to learn. Different yeah, levels, yeah, all exactly. I'm a sponge. I'm soaking it. Exactly. So, you know, so, you know, big ups to that. But, yeah, you know, the Veterans Day Live. Is a show that will help veterans know where their benefits, how to get their benefits, and things like that. Matter of fact, I also gotta let um, 
the audience know, uh, every first Thursday of the month at the Comedy Union right off of Pico and La Brea, uh, comedian Vince D., mm. Um, his venue is for veterans And I have a few tickets So if you stay tuned to Sunday's show At 2pm, that's specific standard time During the Vet- Veterans Day Live You may be one of those callers To get a ticket That's right Call in 323-473-3100 call in. There you go <laughs> Got the phone number up on the screen On the uh, screen next to us here um, I want to swing down to our good friend uh, uh, New friend of course And a brother who's been very helpful here at, uh, at, at the LA Talk Live Broadcast Network, always bringing, bringing good content, good common sense to the dialogue, and most importantly, uh, just good vibes. And now he's got his own show coming up very soon. I want you to spend a little time talking about that because this is going to be a very mm-hmm. important night for me and you. Yes. And let's tell our wow. listeners and viewers a little bit about what's coming up with you. First, first, I, I would like to thank LA Talk Live for giving me the opportunity to um, actually having a chance to put on a show like this. And I want to say thank you, Rich Carr. And yes, yeah, Super Force Radio is right around the corner, the urban lounge of TV radio. And what we'll be doing there is uh, providing the world and, 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 and the people of the world with the absolute truth designed and engineered to crack the world in half. Mm. So, so what that means is that, you know, we'll be discussing things, uh, what, you know, just revealing secrets. You know, sometimes when you've been living your life for like 25 years or 30, 50 years and you realize that, oh my gosh, man, I'm this living. is what it really was, you know. Right. So, so that's what we're here to do, just free minds and and the object of this thing is to attract the youth through the music, green technology, uh, science, and you know things like that. I don't want to give too much away, and uh, but just to let you know, we also have a special vehicle, and and for all those that are intricately involved with with what's going on at uh, Super Force Radio, they'll have their names inscribed somewhere somewhere within the interior or outside the car, things of that nature. You know? Sounds good, man. And this is going to be starting. Give them the day and time. Uh, this is uh, Friday, uh, every Friday at 6, 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, 9 p.m. Eastern time, Brooklyn in the building. What's going on? I want to give Brooklyn some shout outs <laughs> to the 9 Talk Live. Stand up. My man Shorts out there listening to what's going on. But, you know, it's, it's the show is just designed to <coughs> open the minds of the people so the people have a, a, a choice to decide what it is they want to engage themselves in, you know, physically, spiritually, mentally, you know. And uh, So I'm going to be passing the torch to you tonight, actually, and wow. turning wow. over this 6 o'clock time slot. Ah, oh, brother, for you to get this uh, show started, <laughs> uh, we're going to give that, you yeah. a series of pilots. I'm, I'm wearing these shades see so you don't see what's the, gonna the be tears. You know? <laughs> it's Friday. Tune in. Man. For brother, show at 6 p.m. <laughs> yes, sir. You know this is um, this is a huge moment in my life, brother. And uh, there's just so many people behind me that 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 helped me to get to this point. You know, and my career stems throughout the music industry. Uh, MC Light, who's my god sister, and we could go on. I wrote songs for a couple of individuals that are out there doing their thing, um, working with some uh, top-notch production companies, you know. So these are all of the things that's been included in my travels within the, uh, the entertainment industry, uh, as well as um, um, creating clothes and things of that nature. And, and so what we've done is just combine everything, all aspects, into something that I call a green package, which is infused with all of those beautiful things, uh, music, science, art, and uh, who we truly are. Yes, you sir. know, so the key is to know thyself and standing on the principles of love, truth, peace, peace freedom, freedom, and justice. justice. Mm-hmm. Amen. You know. Amen. So let's take a moment here now before we go to the break. Um, well spoken. The... Thank the you, deep brother. and melodic voice you hear in the background is not <laughs> uh, the reincarnation of Barry White. No, it is not. <laughs> it is, in fact, again, another friend of the station of LA Talk Live of Speak On It. Brother Tariq has joined us hey. live on the panel tonight. Hey. He's not on camera yet. Hey. We're going to get that happening. Hey. So hey. just give us a few minutes. All right, all right. We'll get him on camera with us as well. All right. You know, 
after the break, I want to come back and talk a little bit about what's going on in America. I want to start off with the discussion about all of the this recent spate of shootings of unarmed black men, many of them killed. I've got some statistics that I've pulled up. There was one recently. I'm going to see if I can find it if for no other reason than to just bring you the audio. But it has got to be one of the most shocking videos I've seen uh, of an <coughs> assault of a, of a policeman mm. on an unarmed mm. citizen of this country. Mm. And mm. before we go to that break, I know, Brother Tariq, you're going to weigh in heavy on this. You've got some, uh, some friends you brought with is you. It? Maybe they'll want to join us on the mic. All right. Is, is Where it, do you weigh in? Is it the this? one that uh, the officer, re- uh, when the brother reaches for his ID, just shoots him four times? Exactly. Shoots at him four times, hits him once. Well, yeah. Why Three stray he? bullets. Right, mm-hmm. shoots him four, at him four times for, <laughs> for, and when he was asked why he, why he shot him, he, he said, "Well, uh, you just reached over there and said what you about. You would look like you, uh, you know. I mean, <laughs> he had no, he had no actual nothing to say, but he, he talked a lot. Uh, <laughs> I just found I mean? out about that today. Yeah, that yeah, was, I did too. Yeah, man. So, you yeah, haven't watched TV in a couple of days, you know. And it's open season, you know. I mean, uh, it's been that way for really some time. We're just now coming out with the information uh, and, and compiling it and showing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that every 28 hours or something like that is a, is a new dead uh, melanated man or, or, or woman could be too. Mm-hmm. Uh, the sister went and knocked on the door, asked for help, and she got blown away. Wow. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I mean? And th- this, is, mm-hmm. this is just, uh, yeah, this is open season here, and, and we have what, what I uh, call a... a um, a reflection of the Third Reich mm. because we have the Fourth Reich, in fact, going on over here. And uh, it's been going on since 1945, folks. So you better get with your story and you better get with the history because if you don't know what happened, you can't understand what's going on and you will mm. never know what's coming. Woo! Well said. Mm. And with that being said, I think it's time for us to go to a little bit of a break. (laughs) Speak on it. Yeah. Say it, own it, believe it. If you say it here, you got to stand by it and bring the facts. Indeed. The realest, truest show in radio Mm. and in internet broadcasts. I'm your humble host, Richard Carr. Wow. I'm the only guy that didn't get introduced tonight, but it's all to the good. Uh, Thank you both for your kind words. I appreciate you. Major, major. Eddie, we're looking forward to... What you're going to be bringing oh, next Friday oh, at six? Oh, no pressure, oh, yes. really no, no pressure. pressure. <laughs> but I'm 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 yeah. glad to pass the mantle on. Oh. You know, we've got some other exciting news news about Fridays. Yes. Um, yep. Ooh, we're going to take a quick break. Yes. The phone number's on the screen. Yeah. You should want to join us in this conversation. Uh, the number three two three four seven three thirty one hundred three two three four seven three thirty one hundred. Need I say more in the background? Yeah. Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Machine gun. We'll be right back. Don't got go some away. more guests coming up, y'all.
Reality Radio, handcrafted for your listening pleasure. You're tuned in to LA Talk Live, where we're more than just talk. It's a menage a trois from the woman's point of view. P.R. Hawkins brings you this live stage adaptation of excerpts from her sensational ebook, Menage a Trois. This show is for the grown and sexy. Don't miss this limited engagement playing at the Hudson Main Stage Theater in Hollywood. Xavier Tees and Tots, groundbreaking fashion, forward street smart designs. Tees and Tots for men, women, and boys. Visit XavierUSA.com. Once again, that's XavierUSA.com. Yeah, this is the hip hop school of arts, y'all. And all you gotta do is dream, believe, and create. Uh, so let's go. This is the first hip hop school in the world. Given to the youth in the heart of Pete Tan. Pomona, come through, visit the facility. Take a look. Right now we're making history. All the elements of hip hop under one roof. And you can learn every one if you want. Like pop, lock, and DJing, and urban art. Beat boxing and beat boarding and entrepreneurship. That's how we doing it. You see, our mission is to provide a technical trade program for why to transform each student's creative energy into marketable skills you see through education guidance and self-expression and i'm the one who can teach you how to mc the hip-hop school of arts is the place to be so let's go visit hiphopschoolofarts.org or stop by the facility at 499 north gary avenue in pomona california for more info you can also call us at 909-622-4472 be a part of something special Hubert's Lemonade, tasty, refreshing, sweet, and tart. Happiness in a bottle. Visit Hubert's Lemonade at hubertslemonade.com. Once again, that's hubertslemonade.com. Happiness in a bottle. Hey, y'all. I'm Shaquem Williams, and I'm the host of The Shock Factor here on LA Talk Talk. We broadcast to the world every Friday at 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Live music, live performances. We're just live. Chef Momo. Erica Ash. And once again, your host, Shaquem Williams. Thank you. So come join us every Friday here at LA Talk Live, the world-leading broadcasting internet radio station. The Shock The Shock Factor. I said this one again to my browning. Pick up and just kind of stop you on the swing. Respect to the maximum from shoes down to rum. Mojo and I love you at the Calcian Dunn. Hear me now. Lord of mercy. Me love me care. Me love me bike. Me love me money and thing. But most of all, me love me browning. Love me care. Me love me bike. Me love me money and thing. But most of all, me love me browning. Yes. Welcome back to the show, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Uh, another episode, and in fact, what is going to become the final episode for now wow. of Speak On It. Wow. Say it, own it, believe it. If yeah. you say it here, you better stand up, bring the facts, keep it real. Mm. You know, every Major. Friday, uh, our last Friday, uh, 6 p.m., but you know, all of the archives are still up there. And you know, I'll tell you mm. something, mm. Uh, Eddie. When I look back at all the shows I had done, I didn't realize we had done so many doggone shows. And I want to send thanks out to the likes of the counselor himself, Attorney Stephen Bird. Yes. Uh, our original co host and co producer of the show. Also, want to thank Radio Rahim for his work on the show and bringing some great, great information. Peace about, and love, Radio yeah, Rahim. About the uh, boxing yeah. game. Yeah. He's out yeah. there in Vegas right now, no doubt. Yeah. Because uh, he's one of the hottest. Reporters in the set, so I was very honored to have him on the show. I love well. him. I love. Uh, him. But tonight we've got uh, a panel of esteemed gentlemen who join us here oh. in our open forum. We're, we've got the phone lines wide open. Feel free to call the number to the studio is three two three four seven three thirty one hundred three two three four seven three thirty one hundred thirty one hundred. And in the background, I thought uh, you might find a theme in the, in the music tonight. It's about guns. And shootings and violence and why we seem to have such a damn problem with that mm. in this country anymore. So in the <laughs> background, Love Me Brown and by Buja Ban mm. Sin. All right, bring the music down a little bit. Now, I queued this up because I, I, I was really hoping to get this out there. And I'm going to use this particular clip and 
give all respect to to whoever uploaded this and mm. I'm pulling this from the web but I wanted you brothers to take a listen to this this is the actual footage of the vi uh, the video footage of the shooting I'm only going to play the audio wow get go get so pretty much that, <laughs> that's it right get out of the car yeah. shoot shoot yeah. shoot oh yeah. my God. get his license to hand it Hold on. to the uh, state trooper and this happens. Watch this video. It is unbelievable. Get out of your license, please. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! I just got my license! You think you're my license? Put your hands behind your back. 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 What did I do, sir? Are you hit? I think so. Hold your comments. I can't feel my leg. I don't know what happened. I just grabbed my leg. Rachel on 866. I need a 1052. Why did you? Why did you shoot me? Well, you dove head first back into your car. I'm sorry. Then you jump back out. I'm telling you, get out of your car. I'm sorry. I didn't hear two words. All right, I think that's pretty much about enough of it. Wow, um, more than enough. Thank for you. him to yeah. even ask the guy, "Are you hit?" I thought was pretty damn stupid because <laughs> hell, man, you sh you, you, you licked wow. off four shots four at the brother. Four, four shots, right? Four, four shots. shots man. All right, so before we get too far gone, mm. let's uh, take a little time out and introduce the gentleman who joined us, our new guest who joined us on our panel tonight. I'm going to ask both of you to lean into the conversation. That, that Therefore, that means the microphone. No, no, no. He can do that. He's got hands. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Articulate that mic. You want to pull it closer to your yeah. mouth. Yeah. There you go. And, uh, and manage it. I mean, put it right where it needs to be. Yeah. You need to point the tip right at your mouth, okay? Yeah, don't be scared to touch him. It's okay. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> Brother Tariq, insane. would you do the honors, please? Yes, uh, to my left we have uh, the esteemed Sheikh uh, Asar, Asar Alael. And to his left we have our Grand Sheikh Eugene Turner Ill, who is uh, Grand Sheikh for the Temple of uh, Morris Science Temple of America for California. I welcome you, brothers. Woo. I welcome you. Well, I, w I want to stay with the topic a bit because I'm really anxious to hear uh, how you're going to weigh in on this and here's an article from Mother Jones four unarmed black men have been killed mm -hmm. by police in the last month from New York City and LA to Ohio Ferguson and beyond mm -hmm. uh, Ferguson Missouri has been consumed with protests since Michael Brown an unarmed African American teenager was shot mm -hmm to death by police. Uh, Brown was not the only African-American man killed by police in recent weeks under disputed circumstances. Consider these three. Eric Garner, Staten Island, 43-year-old asthmatic father of six, confronted by New York police officers selling untaxed cigarettes when he resisted being cuffed. An officer put him in chokehold. the chokehold, right? <sighs> Tactic banned since 93 by police departments. Mm -hmm. And in the immortal words of uh, one of my favorite artists, let us move on. Hmm. Ezel Ford. Ezel Ford, yes. Hmm. Um, August 11th, when police conducted an investigative stop, 25-year-old Ezel Ford on a Los Angeles sidewalk. Hmm. He wheeled around and basically tackled the lead officer. Hmm. Then went after his weapon. That's what is reported by an LAPD spokesperson. Hmm. But in an interview with KTLA News, a woman who identified herself as Ford's mother said he was lying on the ground complying with officers' orders when he was shot in the back. Four on Sunday times. afternoon, a handful of people protested the shooting outside of LAPD wow. headquarters. Now, one more. And horror then we'll stories, horror open up stories. our uh, microphones to our esteemed <laughs> guests who join us here. Um, <coughs> all right, I tell you what, perhaps that's enough, but I, I, I will do this. I mean, I think in all fairness, uh, August 14th, just mm -hmm. last month, barely 30 days ago, mm -hmm. Dante Parker, Victorville, California. Um, yep. Victorville resident told police that a robbery suspect had fled on a bicycle. 
Police detained Dante Parker, 36-year-old pressman at the Daily Press newspaper, mm. apparently because they found him nearby on a bike, though Parker had no criminal record other than a DUI. A scuffle ensued, and Parker was tested, or rather tased, repeatedly when he resisted. Until he began he breathing heavy, taken to a hospital. And died. Died. All right. <laughs> well... Oh, well, Who wants name. to go first? Uh, oh, identify well, yourself, my well, brother, please. I'm uh, I'm Alsar Alaiil, <laughs> kind of notorious, I guess you could say. Um, what I would have to if I could get you a little closer to that mic. What What I would address go. is the issue of why it has become so comfortable to kill Negroes, blacks, African Americans, you know. Coloreds. Coloreds. <laughs> you know, um, it's, a, it's an educational thing that we have to embrace. And we must let go of the emotional attachment to labels that have nothing to do with mm. who we are. Yes, sir. And mm. when you speak to these ones, concerning going to the United Nations and before the world on these things, they pretty much stand with you and give you an attitude of, so what? <laughs> and we have to understand or understand why. We have to know that in among nations and the human family mm. that there is no such thing as any of these Negro, Black, African American, colored. Hmm. We are going to the League of Nations as adjectives and expecting to gain human rights. In order to present your case to the nations of the world as a violation of human rights, you have to identify yourself by something that a human is known as. Nationality. Nationality is the order of the day. Yes, sir. I'd like to welcome any comments, my brother? Yes. <coughs> I would like to introduce myself. I'm Eugene Turner Eel of the Moorish Holy Temple of Science of the World. The comments that were made should be made by many people. We have a lot of educated. They may not be learned, but they're educated. They have a lot of solutions, but they don't have, I mean, they have a, a number of things that they issue and talk about the problems that are facing us, but they have no solutions. Now, you would think that if someone has been maybe 16 years in school, 16 years in college and did the research and become themselves expert would have the solution to our problem. But none of them seems to have a solution to the problem. They're asking the question, what can we do? What should we do? <laughs> what has been done to us? <coughs> they go to school to get an education. They go into so-called black, so-called Negroes and mm. whatever that, that the praises and names and titles they put up on them. But they come out with the same thing. What is the problem here? If you go to school ed educated, I, I'm aware, I'm not very well learned, but I'm aware that action demands a certain action. Knowledge demands a certain action. If you get a little knowledge, then you have to change your actions. Mm. Because you'll never go to the kitchen to go to the bathroom once you learn to go to the bathroom. It just doesn't occur. Mm. So if these, our so-called leads are experts or our educated few, or trying to tell us something. What are they trying to sell us? Since they went in as so-called this, they come out the same way. So what did they gain? Mm -hmm. Or maybe I should say, what did they lose? Hmm. They lost uh, the connection to themselves. You know, to listening to what's going on, <clears throat> especially since the year began, there has been so many uh, ill-fated events such such as the shooting in uh, Ferguson, Missouri. So one has to sit back and say, well, not sit back, but say to themselves, what's going on? Because to any other, let's say, nation or group of people, these actions would be considered, uh, you know, acts of war. 
yes. you know, uh, that actually acts of war. Uh, uh, why? What now? Now the question is: What what makes these offices like 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 Assar said? What makes these offices feel free that they can uh, fire a weapon upon us? You know, just for reaching for something that they might have asked for. You know, and we never hear these stories in any other community. So uh, there, there's definitely a gen, there, there's an agenda. That's that's the point that I'm trying to mm -hmm. make, and yes, and and uh, the agenda is so dynamic that a lot of a lot of us and quote unquote leaders, you know, don't even want to deal with the topic because it deals with unraveling mm. these incredible truths that we spoke about earlier. Mm. So 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 to unravel why you know we go through the treatments that we go through, mm. man. That's about to shake the world in half. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I don't want to go on with it, but during uh, Hurricane Katrina, when our people were out there and we were on roofs and we listened to some of these news stations, right? And these were the terms that they were using, you know, refugees, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> refugees. I mean, refugee, I mean, we, I mean we're mean, we here. What, what makes me a refugee? I mean, but, but, you know, why are they using that term? Mm -hmm. So, so, so when we get into the term, refugees it, you know it, it deals with you know those who are outside of law outlaws and things of that nature and then so when, when you do study and you become learned you found you find out wow you know these individuals are sitting outside the fold of something that's called the constitution which is the supreme law of the land and that's the principal reason why these uh policy uh, 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 po po enforce policy officials or policy yes. officers, enforcers. you know, enforcers. Yes, <clears throat> excuse me. Mm -hmm. Do what they do. So, before we swing to Brother Tariq, I have some statistics that I thought would be interesting to share with our audience. I should have mm -hmm. downloaded the graphic so you could be looking at it, but nonetheless, I'll mm -hmm. read it to you. And uh, this is from a report covering. Ne well, over a decade, 11 years, from 2000 to 2011, average number of people shot by NYPD officers. Alone. Okay? Hmm. Black, wounded. I mean, when, again, this is a report about black people getting shot by New York police officers. Wounded, 13.6. Uh, Killed, 6.6. White, 1.7 wounded, killed, 1.5, right? <laughs> Hispanic, 5.75, wounded, 3,000 killed. Asians, 0. 0.42. Now, is it the dark brown shade of our skin that make us easier targets? <laughs> Particularly in the daylight? <laughs> Is it that we all dress alike and wear big t shirts and baggy jeans, at least our young people, Hoodies. that make right. us easy to identify? <laughs> Must not be a white kid walking down the block like that. Wow. Um, <laughs> what is it that? being the minority that we still are in mm -hmm. so many different ways in this country no matter all that we've done for this country no matter all we put into it <laughs> the sacrifices of our forefathers <laughs> damn it what more do i owe <laughs> to be able to walk down the street without Nada. fear of the police Nada, oh. knowledge. Now, knowledge knowledge itself well I've got lots of knowledge of self, yeah, and I know, yet I, know. I was confronted mm -hmm. right. in front of my home yeah. mm. by two police officers yeah. in a plain car and black SWAT gear on, oh, wow. uniforms. Yeah. Special, wow. Special. I was leaning into the window of Shaquem Williams, one of the executive producers yes, yes. of LA Talk Live That's and right. host and producer That's right. of the Shock Factor coming up tonight at 8. Leaning into his window, we were wrapping out the day. It was 3 in the morning, right in front of my house. And they made a U-turn, came up behind us, and approached us. Well, first of all, and I didn't become, you know, <laughs> um, combative with them, but don't touch me. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, 
Secondly, don't t- oh shit, he's already patting shock down. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, don't touch me. I didn't say that, but that was my posture. Right. Mm-hmm. Why are you doing this? Do you understand that I'm in my fifties, and at three in the morning, right, just coming home from work, my neighbors can look outside the window and hear this noise and think, "What the hell is he doing out there?" Yes, sir. Do I look yes. like I'm in my twenties? <laughs> Do I look threatening in some way? Not at all. You fit the description. Sure, I do. You we fit always the description, do. brother. So Come on. Your no, knowledge of self <laughs> is not um, enough. I'll tell you what I heard, and and you're going to hear more of this too because we've got lots of new shows th- starting in the uh, uh, fall lineup. Mm-hmm. Probable cause <laughs> with retired LAPD sergeant. Randy Franklin, mm, yeah, he's good. Who guy. continues to say to me, and I've resisted this notion myself, and I want you all to speak to this: uh, that unless we start voting, we really can't change nothing, and that we still vote in so little numbers. He said that the Ferguson, <coughs> uh, the, the black populace, should be doing voter registration campaigns to get black people to register to vote so they can vote out the members of city council or the chairman of city council or the sheriff Hmm. of Ferguson Hmm. or the police officials get on juries so that black people when they are accused falsely or otherwise can can see black faces a jury of their peers Hmm. true peers Hmm. So that's going to be some of what you're going to learn on probable cause. Mm-hmm. And that's Thursday, 5 p.m. Pacific time, starting next Thursday. Right. Mm-hmm. That's going to be a great show. But right. So is that the answer? And I'll say this one last thing, and I'll let you comment before we go to break. Israel did it. Um, is it, it real? It, Israel, Israel. Is it real? The country did it. Right. Right. Did, did that's what? another debate. Right, 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 right. Decided never again picked up the guns and fought back is is that what it's going to take a return to the days of the black panthers who had enough guts to to open carry in public and were fearless about the protection of their wife and uh, their women and children Mm. do we really think that maybe it's the ballot this time you you know what's going on right or the bullet you, this is what's going on right now. It's not a choice. When, 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 when ostriches, right, are running or they're trying to get away, they come up with this theory of maybe finding the closest hole or maybe digging a hole and sticking their heads in the hole while the lion is still <laughs> gaining on them. So they stick their heads in this hole thinking that the lion disappeared. But lo and behold, crunch, 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 crunch. <laughs> what that means, what that means is that you know, uh, there's an agenda. I mean, you know, there's, there's, you know, there's a declaration going on. How do we know there's things happening in the world today to a specific uh, 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 people constantly, daily? We read this, uh, this, the, you read the statistics on that. So what I'm saying is that ignorance of the law is no excuse. Mm-hmm. Just that's like what I'm say. saying. And what I'm saying is <clears throat> once you get into law, that's when things start to fall apart because then you can identify with who you are in the guise of the law. Right. So, so when we start talking about civilians, a civilian is someone that's well-hearsed in law. But yet when you go to court and this judge is saying this or this, or that you did, this uh, uh, administrative officer is saying this or that, right? You're saying to yourself, man, I'm a civilian, but I don't know what the hell he's talking about. You know, so they give us titles, and we don't even know what the hell the titles mean, civilian. If I'm a civilian walking into a a, a courtroom, let's say, that means I'm someone that knows what law is all about. But yet the judge is telling me ignorance of the law is no excuse. So I'm saying to him, where was I supposed to learn it at? So what (laughs) we suffer from is a lack of knowing law, where you stand in the guise of law. You know, and, and if I may, before we go to break, right, uh, I just listened to, listened to, the, to uh, Minister Farrakhan maybe like about three weeks ago. And in his sermon coming straight out of Chicago, what he said was, what kind of citizens are we? Right. 
that's something to think about because you know you have something called the national and then after that it just drops till you get second class third class fourth class mm -hmm. where do we fit in right. what's our political status and why are we going through what it is we're going through? and what is a citizen and how do, does a citizen function in the society uh, we should not be voters we should be electors and that is one of the big problems in the country because they got us all running around after the voter franchise. The voter franchise is not the answer. The voter franchise means that you give up all of your assets to the state to be polled, to be asked the questions your about opinion. what you are, your opinion about who and what and like that. That's not what we want. We are the electors of this country, not the voters. And until we get to the elector situation and status, we are going to continue to be in the situation that we are in. And that requires that we know, as the brother just mentioned, no law. Law governs all events, mm, all events. Point. And so we have a situation now where the, the so-called law enforcement mm. is out of control. Hmm. And, and they're not being dealt with. Uh, you can't vote them out. Uh, you, you can't go to court and get him to court and, and, and charge him with anything because nobody wants to charge him. So what has to happen is we have to learn the law. And the law states in the Administrative Procedures Act mm. that you have a right to ask questions of any and all so-called public servants. And that's what we need to do. We mm. need to start putting them on notice that they must answer our questions and that there's a Supreme Court case by the name of, goes by the, the uh, uh, monarch of, of uh, Gar Gardner v. Broderick. And Gardner versus Broderick was a 1968 case which says that any time any citizen asks a administrator or an officer or anyone uh, mm. pretending to be in the government a public a servant a public servant that's right if you ask them for any questions about their duties they must answer that is a must and you and they must give you all of their information on their public hazard bonds because they must all have public hazard bonds as public servants as well so these are the things we must know once we know these things we don't have to vote them out. They will get themselves out because they will admit to not being who they say they are. And that is where we win every time. And had you asked the officer that pulled up behind you, Officer, is there a breach of the peace here? <laughs> With a nice smile. With a big smile? Guess what he would have done? He would have gotten back in that car and exited that spot lickety-split because you knew what to ask. That's an incredible truth right there. So when, when, when Asar says, when Asar says uh, uh, we can't get emotional, right? What he's actually saying is we have to start looking at things through the guise of law because that's the only thing that renders you a free person. If that I'm angry, <laughs> I'm sick of it, <laughs> and damn it, I can't take it. We got solutions, baby. We got solutions. Baby. We got natural. That's natural. Right. That's a natural thing. It's All supposed right. to we be We got that. solutions, baby. We coming, well, baby. we'll work it out. <laughs> <laughs> when we come back after the break, yes, listen sir. to speak on it. Yeah. Very provocative tonight. Stay tuned. There's more coming. Don't major, major. <laughs> We know there are many choices in internet radio, and the staff and host of LA Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is LA Talk Live. We are more than just talk. Yeah, this is the Hip Hop School of Arts, y'all. And all you gotta do is dream, believe, and create. Uh. 
Yeah, so let's go. Yeah. This is the first hip hop school in the world. Give it to the youths in the heart of P10. Pomona, come through, visit the facility. Take a long look. Right now we're making history. All the elements of hip hop under one roof. And you can learn every one if you want. Like pop, lock, DJing, and urban art. Beat boxing and beat boarding and entrepreneurship. That's how we doing it. You see, our mission is to provide a technical trade program for why? To transform each student's creative energy into marketable skills. You see, through education, guidance, and self-expression. And I'm the one who can teach you how to MC. The Hip Hop School of Arts is the place to be. So let's go. Visit hiphopschoolofarts.org or stop by the facility at 499 North Gary Avenue in Pomona, California, for more info. You can also call us at 909-622-4472. Be a part of something special. It started out like a totally normal day. I love you. I mean, I guess I was a little sweaty and I was definitely sore. I thought I had gas. Turns out I was having a heart attack. Heart disease is the number one killer of American women. So now I take care of myself and tell the other women in my life to do the same. Make it your mission to save your life and the lives of the women you love. Find out more from the American Heart Association at GoRedForWomen.org. It's a menage a trois from the woman's point of view. P.R. Hawkins brings you this live stage adaptation of excerpts from her sensational ebook, Menage a Trois. This show is for the grown and sexy. Don't miss this limited engagement playing at the Hudson Main Stage Theater in Hollywood. Xavier Tees and Tots, groundbreaking fashion, forward street smart designs. Tees and Tots for men, women, and boys. Visit XavierUSA.com. Once again, that's XavierUSA.com. Hubert's Lemonade, tasty, refreshing, sweet, and tart. Happiness in a bottle. Visit Hubert's Lemonade at Hubert'sLemonade.com. Once again, that's Hubert'sLemonade.com. Happiness in a bottle. Hey, y'all. I'm Shaq Kim Williams, and I'm the host of The Shock Factor here on LA, LA Talk Talk. We broadcast to the world every Friday at 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Live music, live performances. We're just live. Chef Momo. Erica Ash. And once again, your host, Shaq Kim Williams. Thank you. So come join us every Friday here at LA Talk Live, the world-leading broadcasting internet radio station. The Shock The Shock Factor.
Well, all right, real back, ladies and gentlemen. I just had to let that ride man. on in. <laughs> good ride, oh, good ride. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Just Key words so up in there. Mm. Very, very gangster, yeah. ain't it, though? Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> that beat is just yes. so gangster. And that's oh, why, Brother so Curtis, major, major. And that's why Brother Curtis got the got the uh, the light falling on his head. You know that happened in Brooklyn, right yeah. around the corner mm-hmm. from my home. Wow, Wingate, Wingate wow. High School on a Tuesday night. So oh, the conspiracies continue, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Welcome back the, to tonight's yeah, final episode of Speak on It, Say It, Own It, Believe That's It. That's piracy. Wow. We're going to uh, just <laughs> take the show and put it on hiatus for a little bit as oh. we pass the mantle tonight to hey. a good friend of the station and soon to be executive producer of his own production. Yes. Uh, Eddie Lamans, I am so proud to turn this time slot over to you, and I know oh, you're going to do real good with brother, it. Brother, I'm, I'm just uh, Don't worry. excited and elated yes. to receive it. Thank you. Don't thank worry. You. Thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> yeah. And, Background. Uh, uh, yes, sir. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Finish. Uh, well, hey, you know, uh, Excelsior. Excelsior. You know, Excelsior. so we have yeah. solutions. We need to uh, start applying them. Right. Yes, sir. In the background, the sounds of the mighty, mighty Curtis Mayfield. Curtis Mayfield. Don't worry. Don't worry. If there's a hell below, we're yeah. all oh, going to go. 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 <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But man. the hell is right here. <clears throat> you know, Let me tell you something. <laughs> that's never that's, fear. That's, <laughs> Truer words are seldom spoken <laughs> on radio than what he just said. I, you know, people talking about the government doing this and the government doing that. Mm. And I swear, for goodness, all my life has been hard in this country. And I've had a good life, but mm. man, ain't none of it been no crystal staircase. No, 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 no. My Never. parents come from the Jim Crow South. Mm. Mm. Right. You know? Yeah. So it ain't never been easy. And I don't think it ever will. I made reference to what uh, the nation of Israel did in Mm. building Mm. or taking or robbing and killing and the fighting and the bullets. And it's all fun and games Ah. until somebody gets their head blown off, right? Mm. But they took up weapons to take what they wanted. And man, unless you're telling me that's a fake state and they don't really have those bombs and fighter jets uh, and they won't fuck you up if you come fuck with them because they will (laughs) that's a fact about them and I wonder to myself sometimes and and listen what I'm about to say is in no way a reflection of the views sentiments or ideas of LA Talk Live that's my personal disclaimer but I wonder sometimes Mm. what if I shot back uh oh damn it (laughs) you know you know you, uh, <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, so I'm gonna leave that alone. Yeah. And let y'all get at it. You know, you uh, you did a list a moment ago when you were about to turn it over to, to uh, Minister Tariq. Mm-hmm. Uh, you you said that uh, two about two or three statements into that list, there was something. Can you go over them again? Well, um, or is it kind of flash past us there? It's just a spontaneous moment of uh, yeah. you know, if if, if, if I right. thought, if if I may. The song goes like this, right? Um, uh, how, how does the song go? We all forgot how the song. Well, I forgot how the song goes <laughs> just now. But but what I mean is that even the little things that we say in life, we really need to really, uh, for instance, and to and and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And then when you see. Um, you know, uh, presidents and things like that, and they, they they speak on behalf of democracy. So I'm saying, which one is it, man? <laughs> if I'm taking the Pledge of Allegiance to the Republic, and this guy is saying, long live democracy, and I know that two things can't occupy the, the same, same spot at the same time. Thank you. Ooh. So what's really going <laughs> on? So 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 that's what I'm saying. So. No one is even paying attention to what it is they're reciting. Mm. And we've been reciting this since we've been knee high. Yes, sir. And yet here's this man in front of you talking about the democracy. So, so, so what I'm saying is something's going on. We're not paying attention to what's going on. Once we focus in on what's going on, that's when things will change. Marvin Gaye was, was very, very poignant in letting us know what's going on and that's been since the 60s so we have very keen knowledge of what's going on and what's been going on it hasn't changed uh it's still open season when when i when i was uh 1967 before i left the country for the second time 
uh, the summer of 1967 in Los Angeles, the Los Angeles Police Department shot 21 young people from the ages of 16 to 22. In the back, most of them. So this isn't anything new. This goes way, way back to after the so-called Watts riots when it was actually the, the police riots. And when, the, when it was Rodney King riot, it was the police riot. And it's been the police riot every single time. And it continues to be that. And they are, now they're militarized. Now they're getting weapons free, free from the Pentagon, uh, Pentagon excuse me. <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> and then, uh, you know, and, and they're getting all of this technology. Uh, now the LAPD mm -hmm. is uh, talking about uh, creating a database that's going to be for 30 years they can keep your information for 30 years and use it against you at any time so we have all of these administrative and governance issues that we have not dealt with properly we have we have gone into the court rooms because they're not courts of law they're court rooms it's days of our lives and as the world turns up in there and mm. and uh We've asked and we've pleaded and we've gotten lawyers and we've gotten attorneys and we've done all the things that we're supposed to do. And yet, mm. it stays the same. It remains pretty much the same. So there must be other methods of getting this done, ch getting this, th this is these issues changed. And again, I say to thee that if you don't know the law and you don't know your story, then you've got somebody else's story you're chasing behind, and that story is going to run you down to the end of the road where there's no turning back. And this is what's happening. So we have the methodology. We know how it works. We have the intelligent tone to present it in. And all we have to do is write a few letters. Uh, case in point, an associate of mine was uh, visiting, uh, going to visit his family in Florida, and he, uh, he and his wife and daughter uh, went through uh, one of the Border Patrol sections down in Texas. And, uh, of course, they, uh, they flagged him, and then they demanded that he pull over to the right. He handed him his paperwork sh that showed that his rights were reserved, and all he wanted to do was continue on his travel to his mother's to visit his mom and family in Florida. And so, no, they insisted upon him pulling over, and instead they used some kind of electronic device and got the door open, snatched him out of the car, yes. threw him on the ground, tased, tased him, him twice, twice, took his wife and daughter, threw them in a cell for right. six hours, right. um, searched his car for two and a half hours and came up with nothing, literally nothing, but gave him a ticket for possession, <laughs> and... Um, kept him overnight and, and brought him in front of a magistrate on the, the day after. Well, uh, all that, to s uh, sh long story short, he came back to Los Angeles after the trip and ended up having to go piss test every three to five days. So after the about 80th day, he came to me and, uh, and I said, well, wait a minute, what's going on here? He says, well, they did this and this, and then he explained the whole thing to me. I said, well, let's, let's, uh, let's write them a letter. So we put together a, a notice and affidavit that was sent to the participants there in Texas at the border, mm. federal, the federal judge, the federal magistrate, and yeah. the chief judge. And, uh, well, guess what happened? To make a long story short, the case was dropped immediately. Well, that's what I'm talking so about. So it's, it, it is all in the way that we do things. And once you find out how to do things, then you put the onus upon them and once the onus is upon them guess what they can't answer you and they will tell you that they are really not who they say they are and they're really not the persons that are being paid mm. for the job that they claim to be doing so this is how you can get them out once you file a criminal complaint against them and once you ask them for their public hazard bond information and they don't give it up, now you can file criminal charges against them for mm. insurance fraud. So there are many methods that we can use, but these methods are not in the system, so to speak, of attorneys and so-called lawyers who uh, mostly lie. And, um, 
so once you utilize these methodologies, now they tell you that they aren't who they say they are. They admit to being criminals, and therefore it's so simple to then file a criminal mm. complaint and get them out of office. Yeah. So that's my story, and mm. I'm sticking to it. Mm. Well, um, <laughs> obviously, I guess it's pretty clear to me at this point that the bullet ain't going to do it, right? We're all no. a uh, bit uh, uh, okay. Uh, so uh, put my cat back in the back in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, disclaimer, disclaimer. disclaimer. <laughs> Here's that. I'll write on the disclaimer. You know, with you want something? Right. Yeah. Is it Dan? If you don't need Dan, and your I'll son don't need him. I am really, I'm happy to see that the new wave of media, now we have cell no phone wise. cameras, and everyone's got a oh camera. No. I'm happy to see that a lot more stuff is Just being reported, no. you know, being recorded and sent out to I the general public back on to God so long, I It's just that I want to know. After a while, we only need maybe one or There's two. There's a lady here to see you. She's waiting for you. Know, I, I, I'd kind of rather see Who people kind of put some of the cell phones down. I had to stop and, uh, to see a friend of mine. Um, Half past six actions. ain't calling out. When a, when a police Half officer um, takes a young man whose hands are behind his head or whatever and, and you know, uh, breaks the law by uh, murdering him in the street, <laughs> now, we, you know, we got to stop dressing it up and making it sound so sweet. Mm. You know, the officer, and, 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 and he uh, <laughs> misused his, his, his um, authority and Which all of this. No, have. no, no, no. Right. He committed murder. Yes, he did. If I go out and get caught shoplifting, they are going to com file a complaint. They are going to put me on the ground. They're going to handcuff me, and they're going to drag me to jail to see the judge sometime in the near future. Mm -hmm. These people are murdering young men in broad daylight in front of God and everybody, mm -hmm. and there is no... so. I, 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 I'm not sure I, uh, some of my uh, elders in law um, the laws on citizens arrest mm -hmm. see when, when an officer or, or a public servant mm -hmm. commits a crime under color of law he murders someone under color of law he's not only committed a crime he's committed a federal crime mm -hmm. he's committed a capital crime yes. so the people not only have the right, they actually have an obligation to place that officer under arrest yes, until some lawful officers come to the scene. Yes, sir. Perhaps wow. the sheriff's department, perhaps someone from the justice department needs to come in, but the people need to learn to galvanize and have the use the right to arrest. And, and stand uh, this thing off mm -hmm. isolate the situation mm -hmm. because this man has committed a crime yep. you yeah. know now uh, that takes courage because <laughs> you know we have you to realize you might get <laughs> shot Ooh. you have to realize that a lot of these people that are wearing these costumes you know they got the little shiny badge and the blue and all of these stuff the weapons are not even employees of your city you know your so-called city or your county uh, some of these are contracted you know mercenaries are mm -hmm. security officers personnel, armed yes. personnel ro ro rolling around with the same costume as everyone else mm. you know what so you? so to ask them is not unreasonable if they pull you over to say you're speeding they're going to ask you for your driver's license, driver license, your uh, insurance, registration, registra and registration. Mm -hmm. You have to identify yourself. Now you've got someone in a costume coming to you with a weapon that he is ready to brandish at any moment, and he's telling you to do things. You have the right to ask him to identify himself because if he's not acting lawful then there's a possibility he has kidnapped the real officer and maybe you know potentially going to commit a crime against you you know that <laughs> in the it 10 minutes that we have left i think it's important <laughs> to at least create at least for myself 
for some of the comments and statements that I've made, disclaimed or otherwise. Right. Um, again, they're my personal comments, my right. personal right. Yes. passions. Um, how long shall they kill our prophets ah. while we stand aside and look? Mm -hmm. Some say it's just a part to fit. <laughs> mm. We've got to fulfill the book. We've got to fit mm -hmm. the part. Mm -hmm. yep. It's something that we have to render up to the world to be the kings and queens we will become because I also believe that our turn is coming. Our turn is here. That's what I believe. Yes, sir. Now, that said, though, I think it's important for balance uh, to give our audience a little bit more takeaway something that they can keep in mind as they travel this perilous world particularly black men and how to protect themselves mm -hmm. their rights um, hmm. if they're confronted by law enforcement how in a nutshell to not get shot right first things first we only have eight minutes left. Now. Right. First things first. <clears throat> so I'll allow each one of you to. The minutes. person that comes to the window and uh, asks for certain documents, the first question out of your mouth is, Officer, is there a breach of the peace here today? With a big smile. And why is that so important? Terry? That's extremely important. Is that some Mason talk or no, something? No, sir. That's the, that is the talk. Some Quaker talk? What that's is that? the talk <laughs> that gets you <laughs> off of the, the that or that gets you on your way to your destination that magically what it, magically right. that's the magical phrase actually and also um may i see your identification your foreign agent status with the secretary of state for the record may i see that please and i'm going to ask the police officer you may yes yeah, yes sir you may ask that and you can do it in an intelligent tone and if he comes back and asks you, well, what does that have to do, blah, 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 you ask him again. May I see your foreign agent status for the record? If you do not have such a document, will you please call your watch commander and have him come out here immediately? See? That's, that's the intelligent way to handle these fake stops because these officers who are pulling people over, they are profiling. They're not just racial profiling, quote, unquote. They're profiling in order to... Sign cultural profiling, perhaps? Their even? cultural and so forth profiling, the cars, etc. They have a bunch of criteria that they mm. follow in order to bond, put people in bondage with mm. these so-called tickets and these so-called uh, citations. Well, again, the magic question is, officer, is there a breach of the peace here today, sir? You see, th that's... Wait. Th yes. I would like to... Uh, Get everybody two minutes in if they'd like. Yes. I want to now swing to my brother. Yes. Um, a takeaway. Grand two take. minutes. Takeaway. Two minute takeaway. We need to understand there you go. that these foreigners that are in our land are foreigners. Now, when we allow them to set up 13 colors in so called Declaration of Independence, we did not give our land away. Nope. This is land of our birth, not the land of foreign births. Now, if foreigners want to be independent, let them go home. This is our country. This is our land. This is our herds. This is our birthright. And we don't intend to give it up because the Almighty God, not just God, the Almighty God, mm. has put this in our hands. Yes, sir. That's the spiritual. I need the practical, though. What happens mm. when you're confronted by these police officers say, hey, this is my land. You're a foreigner. Get out my face. <laughs> is no. That, is that how that goes down? No. no. Not quite. Stay energetically relaxed. Exactly. No matter what it is that you're speaking. Mm -hmm. Find the human in, in that. Him, in him. Wow. I like that. So, you Good know, as you're, like as, you're, as you're asking these questions, mm -hmm. connect with the human. And, you know, before we go to Eddie for his last comments, mm -hmm. that's pretty much what I did. Before the night was over, before that confrontation got stupid, I, you know, first of all, wow, he's a younger man. They weren't that tall, and I'm not either, but they were shorter than me. So they might have been scared. Yeah, uh, but they were, th they're picking a fight too, so, you know. And I wasn't going to fight them, don't get me wrong. I'm not this big, bad, whatever. Mm. Um, you don't but have to. Th exactly. But what I did was appeal to the human in him think of yourself or perhaps your dad coming home from work 
50 something years old basically just saying good night to his buddy trying to get in the house to mm. his wife and kid that's right and all of a sudden he gets pulled he's on the side right you know with cups on and mm. anyway right thank Man. you brother Man. very good takeaway that <laughs> resonates with me you know for my young brothers out there right for speak every, on it every, for my young brothers out there mm. uh we forget too fast and the things that we forget about uh, is who's in control you know who's in control you know when you look at the LAPD you know there's there's a there's a slogan on the side of their car to protect and serve to protect and serve who you know so so at the end of the day at the end of the day there's definitely a, a, an agenda you know we have to approach the matter of course with an intelligent tone you know, and we have to ask questions. So some of the key phrases phrases are: uh, Is there a breach in the peace? You know, do you do you have your 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 uh, your, your, your bond information on you? Uh, do you have your your foreign Public. registration? Uh, uh, a exactly. card or identification so there's definitely questions that we can ask but the thing is is not to be the aggressor no. like Asar said you know find the human in them mm -hmm. because you see when these guys are trained these guys are trained to deal with aggression why because we as a people are a reactionary people mm -hmm. meaning that they can throw an uh, emotional impulse out there and we're going to respond respond to it instantly without e even thinking about it mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like a reflex. Right. You know, so we need to learn how to think. So when we're approached, take a deep breath. Yes, you know, especially for the brothers. Take two. a deep breath, brother. <laughs> it's going to be all right. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's going to be all right. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, that's right. And, and approach the, these people with an intelligent tone because that's the frequency. Right. You see, smile. Right. What's the problem? So that's yeah. what I say. You know, let's learn a little more about, you know, law. You know, let's, let's introduce the law to them because that's where we're losing. Can I take us out with a little little ditty here? Uh, this is from uh, our wonderful belated brother, uh, Oscar Brown Jr. It's called uh, 40 Acres and a Mule. And it goes like this. If I'm not mistaken, I once read, back in that short time I spent in school, where every slave set free was supposed to get, for slaving, 40 acres and a mule. Now, I'm not saying this to see folks sweat. I'm not bitter, nor am I cruel. No. But ain't nobody paid for slavery yet. About my 40, 40 acres, acres and my mule. mule. <laughs> we had a promise, and that was taken back. Mm. And when we hollered, it was, hush, be cool. Well, me, I'm being rowdy, hot, and melanated. I want my 40, 40 acres, acres and my mule. mule. Don't ask me not to get myself upset. Uh -uh. Don't look at me like I'm some kind of goo. Mm -mm. Just answer me quietly. When do I get my goddamn 40, 40 acres, acres in my mule? In the mule. <laughs> no thanks. I'll take my own self out to lunch. No thanks. I'll build my own swimming pool and lay and hang around my own bunch. When I got my 40 acres in my mule... Because interest got to go on, just like rent. Mm. I may be crazy, but I ain't no fool. 100 years of debt at 10% per year, per 40 acres and per mule. <laughs> now add that up. woo we look at here. No wonder y'all call Grandma a jewel. Just pay me that and call the whole thing square, yeah. 40 acres and a mule. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. One of my favorite <laughs> artists of wow. all time. Oscar Brown Jr. Oscar OBJ. Brown Jr. Live up. So, yeah, we're going to yeah. leave off on that. That's um, dope. Yeah. I would like to thank my esteemed oh, panel for joining us here tonight. Yeah. Thank you. Listeners and viewers, I sure hope you got something out of that. You know, we're going to put this up in archives as we often do. Yeah. You'll be able to go back and watch this at your leisure at any time. Yeah. Be sure to stay tuned because coming up at the top of the hour... An all new episode of the Wild and Wooly, The Shock, Shock Factor. Shock, Shock, Shock. <laughs> With Shock Kim Williams, up. Alexis Clegon, Big Dre in the house, yeah. E Quarter Wolf, oh, woo, <laughs> and a cast and crew. 
of amazing interns and guests and family yeah. and friends. It's going to be bananas. 8 o'clock, it all goes down. Major, major. That's the shock factor. Yes, sir. Uh, want to send a big ups out to my main man, Equal to Wolf, the new play he's got coming out called Menage a Trois. Yeah. Be sure to stay tuned for more details about that after this show. And once again, I want to thank my esteemed panel for joining us here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Eddie Gates, thank you, passing the mantle officially. Hey. The headphones right. on just yet. Super but force. wait, there's more. Tell them about it. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful Super Force Radio, the Urban Lounger Radio TV, via internet. King Kong Louis, the Imperial, a.k.a. Eddie Lamar's coming your way. I believe that's next. A.k.a. Week. Eddie hey. Sinatra. Hey, Eddie Sinatra. Eddie man. Sinatra. Hey, forget about it, baby. <laughs> and we're going to do this it. thing Feel every good about Friday. It. Day, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All new show. Be sure to stay tuned for oh, that. Yeah. Also, Probable Cause with Sergeant Randy Franklin starts next Thursday, 5 oh. p.m. Get educated. Yeah. Tune in every Thursday at 7 p.m. for one of the hottest new shows on our network. NPC presents The Black Girl Show. Wow. Uh, big up to Tika Lark Fleming. Boy, that is one deep, deep show. Lots mm. of incredible information about what's going on. In Los Angeles, Inglewood, all throughout the, the city. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Eddie. Thank you, Tariq. Thank you, my brothers. Salam. Um, Salam. Peace and love. I guess that's it. Salam, brother. Yes, sir. That's we'll see it. you next Friday. In next the same Friday, baby. Next Friday, you right. know. Um, hey. I, the duo would be a little different. I might have one of the blazer and things like that, Uh-oh. but it's still the same energy. You're going to say it Oh, man. We're we about to do some things, brother. Yes. All we're right. about to do. We're about to do some incredible things. Magnanimous, I tell you. And I, I, I want to let everyone know that uh, my big brother Tariq, you know, he's the anchor man. So, uh, okay. uh, uh, so it'll be him and I, the majority of the times, you know, hammering this thing out. Of course, in the guise of love, truth, uh, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Excuse me, and just uh, yeah, arming everybody with the tool of knowledge. Check it out next Friday, six p.m. Yes, sir. Super Force Radio. Super Force, Super Force. Radio. Excelsior. All right. So, folks, we'll see you soon. Be sure to tune in for me again tomorrow, 4 p.m., along with Eddie Lamans and yes. possibly Brother Tariq for the Marijologists, exploring the world of cannabis. Ah, dope. Scientifically, politically, economically, and medically. Check that out. Saturdays, 4 p.m., we got mm. Captain Peter Christ, mm. co-founder of Law Enforcement Against Prohibition, Ooh. joining me on hey. tomorrow's show. All right. That's going to get deep. Right. Anyway, mother I'm, Goddess? No? No we'll, Mother Goddess? Green, Green Goddess God. will be back Green as well, Goddess, along yes. with the Quarter Wolf. Yes. You know how it yes. goes down. Yes. All right, so we'll see you again soon. Yes. Stay tuned. Coming up next, The Shock Factor. Woo! Black like a start-off blast, because y'all lost off, and I'm the black curse that came to all y'all laughing. This for the hood by the corner store. Many cry, many die. Come at Nas if you want to win. Shit, it's time behind enemy lines.